Let's look at uh, a fairly simple, but really useful task that we can do in ARC. Uh, so often I've got a data set that I uh, want to use a subset of. So here I've got some historical census data. And I want to look at just Wisconsin. Uh, so I want to select out of this data set only those, those, those counties as a county file, county and territories for Wisconsin. So, and I only want to work with that. So often we'll do a selection and then create a new data set. And that creates an additional data set. And that's a perfectly appropriate way to do it. But there's a simpler way to do this in ARC that doesn't uh, avoid having to create a new data set. It's called a definition query. So you kind of think of it as a selection that only shows the information and the data that you want. So we would start by first looking at the attribute table uh, and getting an idea of what uh, field we're going to base this on. Uh, so I'm interested in only Wisconsin. So I'm going to look through to see if I can find something that's related to state. Uh, let's sort our state name here and go down and look for Wisconsin. And all right. All right, we're pre-establishment uh, of states of Wisconsin Territory. So let's, let's select out all these counties that are part of the Wisconsin Territory. So I'm going to do that by uh, right-clicking on my data layer here and go into properties. Looking through the different tabs here, I want to find definition query. This looks lo a lot like the selection by attribute tool and it operates almost the same way. So I want to come up with a SQL statement here that's going to select out the features that I'm interested in. So I'm going to go into query builder and again this looks very similar to the select by attributes and then set up whatever query that selects the features that I'm interested in. So I want state name equals, and then instead of typing out Wisconsin Territory, again, you want to make this as easy as possible and be lazy. Uh, I'm going to click on Get Unique Values, scan that, and I'll look for my Wisconsin Territory. OK. If I really want to, I can verify, find out if that uh, SQL statement has got correct syntax, looks good. Say OK, OK, and bang. Now I've got only those portions of my data set that are for Wisconsin. And now I can treat this as as, uh, as if it's a shapefile that's only for this part of the, the country, changing projections, doing joins, and so forth. Uh, so that's a useful way to use data sets that are, contain a larger area without having to create a separate data set. Yay!